Hey, this is Cadet Rob, and this is my new channel called Movie Metals. And uh, I've always been a uh, kind of a historian of uh, military uniforms and insignia and medals and awards and decorations, badges. And uh, I'm also a huge movie fan. And so uh, what I'm going to do with this channel is uh, go over various movie characters who were in the military in that movie and uh, just kind of uh, talk about their awards and decorations and how accurate they were to their character to the time period to the service that they were in um, all of that to the age of the character or the actor playing the character you know just just kind of go over all of those kinds of things so we're gonna start off with a classic full metal jacket gunnery sergeant Hartman uh, portrayed by R. Lee Ermey and uh, one of my favorites of all times. So here's his uh, rack. Of course he's a gunnery sergeant um, in the Marine Corps and uh, so let's let's just talk a little bit about it. Um, so R. Lee Ermey was 43 years old in 1987 when uh, Full Metal Jacket was released. Um, so that puts Gunnery Hartman, that fictional character, born around 1928. So he's actually a little younger than Arlie Ermey. He probably would be about 39-ish, right? Uh, maybe even 38 uh, in this in this movie. Um, the movie is set in December 1966. Uh, we know this because uh, of the Christmas scene where uh, they sing "Happy Birthday to Jesus." And um, also because we know um, about the, you know, the, the later scenes where they're in Vietnam during the Tet Offensive. So that can give us a date for around the time that this movie was set. Um, so uh, Hartman, Hartman would have joined the Marines around 1946 at the age of 18. You know, these are all conjectures. So, but we know he had to be after World War II because um, he has five good conduct medals. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and no World War II ribbons on his uniform. So he could not have, or it's unlikely that he served in World War II uh, or even in the occupation after World War II because he doesn't have any of those, those ribbons on his uniform that would have indicated that service. We do know he served in Korea and Vietnam and was wounded twice. And I also think he probably served in Lebanon in 1958 where he earned his Expeditionary Medal. So let's go back and look at that, just the rack, his ribbon rack. Right, he has a silver star, a purple heart, uh, the Navy Presidential Unit Citation, uh, six good conduct medals. Now the uh, purple heart he has two, two purple hearts. Some people said he has five uh, or even six purple hearts, but I find that very unrealistic. And my looking at his uniform uh, and his ribbons, to me, that's that's a gold star, kind of bronzy looking gold star, not a silver star on that purple heart. Um, okay, so then uh, six good conduct medals, and we'll talk about that. That might be a little mistake there. Um, the Navy Expeditionary or Marine Corps, sorry, Marine Corps Expeditionary Medal. Uh, two National Defense Service Medals, the Korean Service Medal, Vietnam Service Medal, three awards to that. Uh, the Korean Presidential Unit Citation, uh, the Vietnam Cross of Gallantry, and we'll talk about that in a minute. The UN Korean Service Medal and the Republic of Vietnam Campaign Medal. So let's look at his actual awards from his, his uh, the best screen capture I could find of his uniform. Um, so let's talk about that purple heart, right? To me, that looks like a very bronzy looking gold star and not a silver star on his purple heart. And then that cross of gallantry, you'll notice it's it's in the wrong position. Uh, if you look up any Navy or all services um, uh, order of precedence um, poster, you'll notice that that should go after the Korean presidential unit citation. So it's in the wrong place. Um, that's okay. And then the good conduct 
five, five. Uh, I, I think they just kind of got it a little wrong because I, I think they assumed that a, a silver award, silver star award on that was the fifth. It's really the sixth award. He, he probably should only have five awards, which would be from 1946 to 1966 because uh, they're awarded every four years. He shouldn't have six awards. So he really should have four bronze stars on his um, good conduct medal. Because if he was in in 1942, he would have been in World War II. Uh, I, I don't, you know, he, he would have at ver the very least had the um, American um, Service Medal for World War II here on his rack, and he, he doesn't have that. Um, you know, so he would have had one, either the American Service Medal, the Pacific, or the European uh, Campaign Medals. Um, and he, he doesn't have any of those on his, on his uniform. So... So he couldn't have been in the service before 1946. It's just not, it just doesn't seem right. So, um, okay. And then, uh, like I said, the, the expeditionary medal, I think he would have gotten that in 1958 in Lebanon, considering his dates of service. It's one of the few times that the Marines were, were sent somewhere that didn't get a, another different medal. Two National Defense Services, of course, for Vietnam and Korea. His Korean service. Is three two stars, which is three campaigns in Vietnam. It's not three tours. Um, for those of you that don't know how that worked, the they were for certain specific periods of service. So he probably only had one tour of Vietnam, where there were three separate campaigns during that during that time period. Um, the Korean Presidential Unit Citation, the Vietnam Cross of Gallantry, which is now placed in the correct order. Uh, because the ribbon rack maker that I use won't won't uh, put it in the wrong place. Um, the UN Korean Service Award and then the Republic of Vietnam Campaign Medal. So, uh, so it's a pretty pretty good uh, ribbon rack um, for a Marine from that time period. Um, mostly very appropriate, um, you know, uh, for a senior drill instructor. Um, of course, he also has the. Uh, expert rifle and expert pistol awards which is, I think is very appropriate for a drill instructor uh, to have so all in all I think that uh, that uh, Gunnery Hartman's uniform except for a few small mistakes the, the worst one being the misplace of that one ribbon um, and then the tinier one being the too many awards of, of his good conduct medal um, but that's, uh, you know, those are small, small things. In general, pretty good uniform for a movie uniform. All right, uh, come and visit my uh, website, U.S. Military Insignia History, um, at, at the address on the screen. And uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, and if you notice that I made any mistakes, please let me know. Uh, put them in the comments and uh, always like wanting to learn more about US military insignia history